Good morning, Kids Church, uh, and welcome to Kids Corner. So, today we've got an interesting story. We're talking about superheroes, and we've looked at Daniel, uh, who defeated Goliath. We've looked at Abraham. We've looked at Noah. Uh, we've looked at Esther. So, um, who's left? What other heroes can you think of from the Bible? See if you can guess who we're going to do today. Who else was really brave and led God's people and did something amazing? Have a think. Okay, so tell me your guesses. Who do you think it might be? Okay, the answer is Deborah. Who guessed? Deborah. We don't hear about Deborah very much. Deborah was a judge. Uh, and this was before we had kings. So this happens after Abraham, but before David. So the people of Israel didn't have kings. They had their separate family groups. They lived all over, the, uh, all over Israel. And when they had a problem, then they would seek out a judge. Uh, and some of the judges are um, Gideon was a judge, Samson was a judge, uh, there's one called Ehud, uh, and Deborah was a judge. And so Deborah's job, almost, her calling, was literally to sit, and when people came to her with their problems, she would answer and she would decide who was right and who was wrong. And she would sort people's problems for them, um, because her superpower wasn't strength, wasn't speed, wasn't flying, her superpower was wisdom. God had given her wisdom to be able to listen to situations and say, this is what you should do. Now, at that time, some of the people of Israel, they'd, they'd just gone their own way. They'd forgotten about God. And so God hadn't protected them when a king of Canaan had attacked them uh, and made them slaves. And so once they were slaves, they weren't happy. They called out to God. They said, God, help us. And so God spoke to Deborah and said what he wanted to do and how they could overcome this king of Canaan uh, and his he had a mighty general called Sisera. Sisera had iron chariots uh, and people didn't normally use chariots those days. The chariots were scary because they were armoured and they rode over you. Um, so the people had no idea how to fight but God spoke to Deborah and so Deborah called a man called Barak and said, Barak, God is saying you should take men from those tribes and you should go into the valley of Kadon uh, and you should go into battle because he will deliver Sisera and his chariots and all his armies into your hands. You will win the fight if you take those people into that valley. And Barak went, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it sounds a bit scary. It's... Um, Ooh. I'll go, but I'll only go if you go with me. <laughs> and Deborah said, fine, of course I can go with you. But you are giving up the honour that you would get for this victory. Sisera, uh, the enemy general, God's not going to give Sisera to you to kill and to go to everyone. Yay, look, I did it. I'm the hero. He's, Sisera's going to get killed by a woman somewhere away from you for sure let's go and so Deborah and Barak took the the men of Israel and they went to this valley uh, and the king of Cain said oh they're coming let's get them all uh, and they rode down in their chariots and as they rode down God confused them <laughs> he sent them in different directions in circles and they, they fell over each other and they got completely muddled up and so Barak and his men were able to defeat them really easily. And so when Sisera, this mighty general, saw this, he abandoned his chariot and he ran off. He ran off and he ran off and hid. Now, the Bible then tells us uh, that Sisera went and found uh, the tent uh, of a woman called Jael. Uh, and she was part of a family that in the past had been friendly to the king of Canaan. So he thought, oh, I'll take shelter here. And so he knocks and says, can, can I come in and, and rest? Um, 
and, and she recognised him. She knew that he was the commander of the uh, the enemy army. He was fine. You come in, have a rest. I'll, I'll give you a drink. And so he has a drink, and he goes to sleep. Before he goes to sleep, he says, "If anyone comes, you don't tell them I'm here." Okay. And and he goes to sleep. And so Jane is there. She's got this mighty general sleeping in her tent. Um, she's got Israelite soldiers running around, and she's meant to be hiding this general from them. What does she do? And she thought, this is Israel's enemy. And so the Bible says that while he's sleeping, all peaceful like that, she went and she found a tent peg, and she bashed it into his head and killed him. And shortly after, Barak came searching to be able to defeat the enemy general. Uh, and he knocks at the tent. And she says, yeah, yeah, I can show you who you're looking for. Uh, and he comes in and sees his enemy, sees this general uh, dead with a tent peg through his head, killed at the hands of this woman. And so Israel was free. God had done what he said he would do. Uh, but he'd done it the way that that Deborah said. Deborah had heard. Deborah had advised Barak what he should do. And then when Barak went, oh, I'm nervous, I don't, I don't want to. She hadn't got upset. She said, look, fine, if you really want, I'll go with you. And we'll see this thing happen. So I love the story of Deborah because... Uh, because of the way that societies were back then, you don't get a lot of women uh, in positions of authority and power in the Old Testament. Uh, and Deborah is so wise and she's so calm. She doesn't shout, doesn't yell at people, but she hears God and she does what God says. Uh, and so and, and so it works. She was a woman of real authority. So the superpower we're thinking of today is that wisdom to hear from God and be able to speak it to people. And if they argue and stress, that doesn't, we don't get stressed. We can just repeat, this is what God has said. Let's go see it. So as you're going through your week, listen. Listen to what God says to you when you pray. Read the Bible, read the stories, find out more about what God is like. So that when people ask you uh, for your help, when people uh, tell you about their problems you can think about what God would say what is God wanting to do for that person how does God want to help that person you can have that same wisdom that Deborah had because that wisdom comes from God so we're going to pray uh, I'm going to pray for you to have uh, that superpower of God's wisdom so that you know what to do you know what to say uh, and you can feel God with you, however people that you speak to react. So get how you're comfortable to pray, uh, and then we'll do a, an Amen at the end. Are you ready? Okay. Lord God, thank you for Deborah. Thank you for her wisdom. And thank you for her peace, that she was able to say always what you were doing, what you had said. And even when people like Barak stressed out and uh, and argued and weren't sure, she never changed. She just kept saying what you had said, uh, and she went with him and, and helped him. Lord, we pray that you give us that wisdom to know uh, your ways, to be able to help other people when they're stressed, when they're worried, with your wisdom, with your peace. Give us grace in helping other people uh, and learning more and more about the way that you work, the way that you do things. We pray that you fill us again with your Holy Spirit and continue to do your work in us and through us this week. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, have a look at the craft. Uh, and we will see you on Tuesday at six o'clock for our Zoom. God bless. Bye bye.